I just uh, very briefly introduce myself. Uh, in fact, I I, I left uh, Malaysia in like two zero zero four, and I, I I came back to Hualien to our Benhui, uh, Jingse, and and joined the International Disaster Relief Team in two thousand two zero zero four. Of course, of course, uh, there's a very uh, big uh, challenge for me because, uh, um, you know, if you want to participate in international relief, especially as a staff, you got to do everything, you know, all the preparation, all those hard work and so on. But luckily, when I, I'm, I'm, when I was here, I had so many uh, teaching from master and also especially uh, all our volunteers in Taiwan, they were so experienced. You know, and then I basically I learned a lot from them. And uh, today, uh, the topics that I'm going to share is related to the uh, uh, what we call this uh, prefabricated uh, structures or pre prefabricated house. Um, just now, I when when we when we were do the prayer, right? Uh, it certainly hits me very very much because the major reason why I joined this uh, international relief team is because of this. Uh, a world disaster, which uh, you know, since the uh, very early days, I, I still remember this slide uh, when I firstly when I joined uh, the foundation back to 2004. I took this slide from a magazine, and this magazine only recorded until uh, early 1990s. Huh? And in that particular period of time, um, you know, the report shows that um, every last time in 1990s, uh, the recorded uh, uh, a disaster, which is, I mean, the uh, big disasters uh, every year, you see. So you can see there's an exponential uh, growth. And if you see more clearly, until uh, this, this slide was taken, uh, this report was in uh, 2017. And you can see it's the same, about 91% of the total 7,000 uh, plus uh, recorded disasters events from one. Uh, 198 until 2017, 91% is correlated to uh, climate change, you know, uh, hydrological floods, landslide, and so on. So it triggered us to, to think about this one uh, because when there was flood happened, the, the uh, disastrous areas uh, normally is very big and it might occupy the whole city or even the whole country, right? So in that particular uh, 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 occasion, uh, besides the emergency uh, goods, uh, sorry, emergency food, uh, which you can you have to provide during the uh, emergency period of three to four months, which I uh, I mean the we as a Suji foundation we always do this thing very well, but after six months or even one year, in fact most of the the disaster victims they are not able to uh, return back to their normal life if they do not, they do not have uh, a, 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 even a simple house or even a place or a shelter for them to uh, to live for dignity right so uh, this this topics uh, means that uh, because of uh, our master's compassionate heart you know uh, we, we can't leave them alone or we, we just can't live this uh, disaster victims to be alone and to struggle by themselves. So we got to uh, 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 um, mobilize our volunteers uh, with our compassion and how we can fully utilize our wisdom, our knowledge, our professional knowledge, and also from those uh, uh, technical, I mean, the, all those uh, scientific technical uh, knowledge, how we can integrate uh, with our compassion and building these houses. Uh, let me have a roughly have a sense. Uh, in fact, when we talk about this, this prefabricated house uh, structures, we always think of uh, those are very uh, expensive or very highly uh, 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 what you can see in these modern constructions, right? But for us in Sushi Foundations, we are more likely to, uh, you know, have this, uh, uh, we, 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 we like to make it as a, to call it as a simple house, uh, which can be uh, used at least for five years before uh, the, the disaster victims, they have 
a permanent house. Okay, so why we should have this transitional period of at least five years? Because a lot of times, especially in those uh, very poor countries like Philippines, even today, uh, I think most of you heard about this uh, uh, Yolanda or the Haiyan uh, 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 typhoon disaster in 2013, right? Until today, um, the permanent houses not yet constructed because uh, basically it's very difficult to to acquire a big land, right? But what we what we could we can do at that time was we are able to have a land rented to us for I think uh, forty to fifty years of use. That's why we can't build a permanent house on people's land, right? But if we build a a, a simple structures on the land, then the landlord. You no, know, will let us do this because this is not permanent. But yet, although it's not permanent, if it can be used for at least five years or even ten years, then only the family have the chance to you know to recover during that transitional period. Okay, so um, of course, uh, I'm not going to talk about those uh, fabricated prefabricated structures uh, which uh, everybody might have heard about uh, during uh, 1999. Uh, this is the Taiwan uh, 1999 earthquake, a 921 earthquake, right? So uh, that earthquake really came up with a lot of these uh, prefabricated structures. But that structures, because it was uh, happened in Taiwan, the quality was so good. It's, in fact, it's a permanent structure itself. But somehow when we come to say about the international relief, uh, to my experience, I would say uh, this uh, year 2004, uh, the, this a South Asian tsunami is, I would say, is a it's a very important milestone. Uh, how we start to move from here, and uh, for those uh, not very familiar with this this disaster, I in, in fact this was uh, the occasion where I I decided to join. Uh, sorry, there's some mistake. Sorry, uh, this was the uh, occasion where I was so. Uh, uh, a move and uh, uh, affected until I decided to join uh, Hualien as a in this uh, international relief and become a full time staff. Uh, because at that time I went to uh, Aceh for three to four months, you know, uh, 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 as a volunteer over there, and I found that uh, the experience was so uh, 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 deep inside my heart. And eventually, I think that uh, this is the right time for me to uh, really go full force uh, uh, to, to join this uh, international relief. Um, okay, I will talk more about this one, but I just want to know, let you know that uh, this, this was a very terrible uh, uh, disaster happened. And, uh, you know, when I was there, I found that the, the tsunami even hit the land. The, the deepest distance is eight kilometer. You know, we, we draw the vehicle and then we go deeply until eight kilometers, the whole land will just flatter like that. You know? And uh, this is another, another scenery in Sri Lanka. Uh, after three months, I, 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 I leave uh, Indonesia, Aceh, and then I, 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 came, I came to Hualien. And uh, we have another relief project in Sri Lanka. So I was uh, assigned to go over there after uh, in uh, back to 2000, 2005 May. And this this, uh, this is the photos which is still over there, you know, after five months. And you can see when I was there, all those uh, 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 tents, temporary shelter, we stayed in, we named it, already constructed by our, uh, uh, our team over there. But it is very fast within uh, two to three weeks you know, under the help of the uh, Pakistanis uh, army. Uh, but it was so hot because, you know, right, those tents, it, it was so hot until you can see these photos after because the, uh, the victims, they still had to stay over there for nearly one year before the Great Love Village that uh, Suchi constructed uh, over there uh, completed in 2006. So they have to be there for at least one year. So for the transitional period, they stay inside these uh, tents, but it was so hot, you see, and they have to use the atap, huh, this uh, coconut leaves 
the cover. So it looks so ugly, you know, it's, it's very, very like a of origins, right? So when, uh, when this one, so the master, master always, always uh, reminds us that the relief materials, whatever we give to the victims must be something that we are willing to use. Otherwise, uh, it, it, is, it, it does not serve the purpose because if I myself, I, 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 I was, I've been there for, for the nearly whole day, so, and, and it, it, it easily caught, uh, got sick because uh, the temperature, the environment over there was so hot. And most of the time, you seldom see anybody or just only a minority of people like old persons or just children in this campsite during day, daytime. You know? Most of the uh, residents, they will hide under other places, which is more cooler. But of course, nighttime, they come back, go back here to sleep. So this is not a very good uh, uh, conditions. And of course, master won't bear it, right? So um, um, this is the the uh, the, the major uh, 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 message that master want us to, to think about it. Because master always want us to, when we are doing this uh, disaster relief, international relief, master always uh, remind us, we have to show respect. We have to show this uh, practicality and the timeliness on doing all our things, right? Why? Because um, it's very simple. When a person being hit or a family being hit by a disaster, uh, it's not how much or how many things that you're going to give them or how long. How long? For example, you, you can't uh, always feed the, the victims with food for one year, two year, or three year, right? Or, and, or, and they just uh, 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 is, uh, sit inside the uh, this uh, 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 evacuation camp or whatever, right? If they cannot live with dignity and they cannot found, found their way, I mean, their, their self-esteem, so they won't be able to stand up. And eventually, you know, um, the, the purpose of our, our effort is in vain, right? So if a person uh, can, can, can be uh, respected, how? It must be very practical, right? It's not just like just saying only. So giving them a house, let them feel that, yeah, this is the time, this is the right time that I want to uh, stand up again as a father, as a mother, right? As a head of family, it's very important. So uh, let me let me go to this uh, again, right? And this one actually uh, was in uh, 2010 when uh, our disaster relief team from the United States, they, they went to Haiti. And uh, you know, this, this was a photo that they took where during the year, uh, because it was heavy rain and the whole, uh, uh, the, camp, the campsite was flooded like this. You know? So master was very sad and she always uh, 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 expressed uh, her, 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 her expectation that we should do something, uh, give them something better, right? Not let the, the victims always, you know, hide inside these tanks and how he is going to walk out as a person, you know, and then try hard for the whole day and then coming back to his home and then have the kind of uh, 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 spirit uh, to walk out again for the next day and then to strive for for uh, his family, right? Uh, and at that time, this one, this is 2011. And this is our American team, our volunteers from uh, United States. They, they say, okay, they will do the first, first batch of design first. Something better than the tank, right? It's a structure and the height and the, the inner design and so on. It's, it's, it's a small house, but it's already shows some good uh, 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 difference. For, uh, for them, right? For the disaster victims. And uh, this is the house they built. Although it's not so successful because of the structure is not so strong. And you know, Haiti is always hit by typhoon. But somehow it gives us uh, some good experience. And this is what I mentioned just now, right? Uh, in the early days after this, the disaster, the victims were displaced and there was an urgent need 
or place to live, right? In a short period of time, when the land has not been found, the property rights are unknown because most of the time in the third world country, you can't find a, you not even can buy a proper land, which is uh, suitable for building permanent house in a very short period of time. It might, it might take you two to three years, even four years before you can acquire a proper land, which is legal uh, to build a permanent house. So a simple house or what we call it a, 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 a shelter home uh, has to be quickly assembled, you know, uh, allowing the victims to regain their life uh, with peace of mind and so on. Um, so, um, yeah, this is something like a consideration. It's, it's not very complicated, but it's, a, it's just a common sense, right? They must have, uh, the simple house that we built must have the advantages of tents. This means that it's portable, it's quickly quick to uh, assemble, but must eliminate all those disadvantages of tent, which is very hot, you know, and it, it looks not so 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 nice. You won't feel you you won't feel proud to, to say to stay inside a tent, right? So because when you see the tent, you feel that it's just temporary, and and you won't you won't uh, put a uh, uh, hope into that simple tent, right? And it must have resistance to wind and rain simple and fast to construct, and it must be able to at least uh, withstand for three to five years, right? To solve the empty period, a uh, window period in front uh, before the permanent houses uh, are built, right? So uh, with this kind of uh, 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 what we call a very sad experience, we, we will face in, uh, in uh, tsunami and in the, this uh, Haiti, and even during the Pakistan uh, flood happened also the same year in 2010. Um, that's why it triggered our volunteers in Taiwan. We start to look into how we, we can use the current material or the current uh, modern uh, technologies to try our efforts. You know, We even uh, buy those uh, containers and do modification, right? And then so we always ask our master to come and look at all these things. And master always uh, give us uh, a lot of good uh, 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 suggestion that we enlighten us to, to go further, right? And uh, eventually, I, I won't go into details of every single uh, 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 this uh, prototype we build. In fact, all these are contributed by those uh, vendors, by our good friends, by our volunteers, or even those suppliers in Taiwan. And, and they always give us materials, give us all these things for us to try and see. Okay. But one trying even Mongolian, uh, 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 this what we call this Mongolian tank is also one of our, our design, which we imitate to try to see if this is good uh, to serve, right? Uh, and so on. Okay. And uh, of course, even I myself, I'm, I'm not a, 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 a civil engineer or even uh, doing any architect. I'm, not architect. I'm just a mechanical but I'm not involved even in construction project. Uh, I, 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 work, I was working in Motorola for 10 years. I live and I as a volunteer and, and as a full-time staff. So uh, this, this video is very, even I myself keep it always in my mind. Even already uh, more than ten years, right? This one was back to two zero one zero. Let me see. I can, you know, yeah, yeah. Uh, you see, uh, he. Uh, this is a uh, brother Jason. In fact, he is an electronic engineer for Noah. So uh, you know when we heard about this thing, it, uh, we as a staff in uh, in uh, party, we also try to do some model and uh, and uh, try to you know, uh, uh, use our our leisure time. Not to say leisure time, in fact, we work after working hours. Try to see how we can also contribute. And I myself, you know, uh, try to do some engineering drawing, and then we use the, the material that we use is called the PP board. And very easily get
so uh, and many signs so we have to the 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 thing is that And uh, what we are trying to do is something like this. First, there was uh, types of contact. So we, so we, after we accumulate all the knowledge, try to build a model ourselves. You can see that uh, uh, our model. Yeah, eventually we have this model, and then uh, even as it's brought up, I will be a bit. Uh, respect him very much, right? And he, he's my boss at the time, and he's the person who will uh, inspire me in my job and join him as a international team. In fact, he was a very successful lawyer in Taiwan. Uh, not to say lawyer, you know, something like manager, right? For to join as a team. So this is a way that I reach myself and be who we are not today uh, or architect. But, but we still be able to build a model and show the master what are the uh, concepts or what are the uh, how we do okay. So in fact, this of course this model was not eventually built, but somehow uh, it give our it give uh, 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 something like a inspiration to our professional team in Hualien in Taipei, right? So this is the team which I really respect them very much. They are all retired professionals and they are already, you know, some of them, they are already grandfather, not, not grandmother, grandfather, right? Uh, but they still contribute their leisure time. They come back to Hualien, you know, to live uh, at Hualien and then every day just doing lots of model. And yeah, this is the PP board that I'm talking about. Uh, it, you know, this is very special one with two layers, but inside here is the cavity. So, you know, uh, this cavity actually is using the air and it's a very good, serve as a very good uh, insulation, right? So this is some, some technical comparison. But anyway, the most important thing is how, uh, you know, since after this uh, 2010, you know, our volunteers from, from, from the United States and our volunteers from Taiwan, we have a very good uh, 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 effort to design and this is this is uh, uh, the design from United States and their their means their main focus is helping uh, this uh, South America like in El Salvador right and even in uh, Honduras right and this uh this were this now this is no more there anymore this were the 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 exhibition site very near to our Hualien Chinese board right we always build. Uh, this kind of structures, and then we invite master when master have her lunch, she will take a walk, you know, from Chisa Ball and walk maybe around 50 meters, maybe 100 meters, right, to this uh, 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 our this construction site, and then to give us some suggestion and some comments. And this is this is we name it uh, Pakistan number one because of the uh, Pakistan's uh, uh, relief. We, after we came back, we started thinking of how we can build a small one, but yet, which is able uh, to withstand those, uh, uh, yeah, we can see very quickly. And even, uh, there was, it was tested by a, a Fanabi a typhoon in Taiwan, and, and uh, it, it, it was toppled, and after that, it's still good in shape and in structures, right? So it gives us a lot of uh, confidence and we continue our effort and we tried it very hard and every, you know, master gives us a lot of uh, 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 suggestion it's in how we can construct the house. It looks, although it's just a simple house, but it just looks like a permanent house. The uh, external experience, uh, outlook of this simple house must be the same as a permanent house. So that the, the, the victims, when they stay inside, they feel that there's a hope, you know, for tomorrow. Yeah, uh, yeah, and one the, the first project that we we go overseas, we went overseas was in Zimbabwe, where we, uh, in fact, I went with Brother Joe that year in two zero one zero. We went to uh, this uh, Zimbabwe, and then because you know why? Because the Brother Chu Ching Tsai told us that, uh, uh, you know the. Uh,
。津巴威是全美洲世界率最高的国家，为百分之九十一。有的就是在这样的环境下，一个字一个字新闻学。在哈拉雷郊区的自由小学，露天教室，大地为止，一千多位学童，一一到七年级，每一班有八十几人，百八十人不等。露天教室坐不下的，还有被迫坐在教室外面。And this is a sister precious. She she was a teacher. 五年级正在上课，学生九十二人，黑板是一块板子，还得有值日生拿着。但整间教室 fast and see. You can see how this thing like. And we we fabricated this simple house into a simple classroom. And and it's not easy to build because in Zimbabwe there was rocks, you know, in the. Site in in this uh, construction site in, in these villages, so we got to we got to stay over there for nearly two weeks to build six simple structure uh 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 classroom for them, and you can see the headmaster, he is the she is the first person first person to dance very well inside this uh classroom right, and you can see even we have not yet complete all the students already move inside and this they are still using their poor. Uh, 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 a a a a blackboard. So when master saw this, master said, "How can you 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 let them hang this kind of a uh, a uh, uh, blackboard during the teaching, right? So we immediately go and get some more better one for them. And we even because there was no electricity in the villages, so we even at a time we 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 uh, put some solar uh, uh this uh light for them." Right, you can see this is the time uh, when the students can study or the villagers can have the assembly during the night time. So, uh, because of time, I want to move quickly into uh, the the biggest project that uh, we we constructed. I mean, the most successful uh, this uh, prefabricated structures project that we have uh, done. This this was back to two zero one three when this typhoon Yolanda hit. Uh, Philippines, you can see how terrible this uh, typhoon is. Uh, it covered the whole country of Philippines, and uh, you know, in two zero one three, and it cost five point eight millions of uh, people displaced, right? And uh, at that time, Master said, "How you are going to uh, help them?" So, because of the past experience for nearly, uh, I would say ten years, but at least for the past three to four years that we we have been trying. Uh, so many types of prototype, and this is the structures that we come out. You know, it's not very big. Uh, Leo King is actually is I think it's just around uh, six tatami, uh, six uh, Japanese tatami. You know, means that you can put six uh, uh private uh, uh six single beds inside this uh space, but we we designed it until they have two rooms. One living rooms and one small kitchen and even one small toilet, and actually it can stay only for one to four person, and for a, a bigger family for five to eight persons, we have three rooms for them, and you might ask why, uh, such a small space you want to uh, you know, uh, partition into so many parts, why? Because we want to let the uh, family to live as a normal person with moral and dignity. You just imagine if this small houses inside is uh, there's no compartments, so maybe the uncles or the father or the youngest daughters, whatever they just squeeze inside this a uh, uh, small space. There's no privacy privacy at all, and you know, uh, 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 it's a big disaster again for the ladies who staying there or the 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 the, the daughters staying inside there, right? So if we want to give somebody. Good things we must think of if we will then, uh, whether we want to stay inside or not, right? So you can see this is the Philippines uh, uh, victims after disasters they have to stay they have to rebuild their houses and this was the original house with better things but after the disaster they only can only... this is how the 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 house I mean the simple structures that we built for them okay. Uh, 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 I'm sorry. How? Uh, what is the time for me to uh, answer? 
Brother, you can still, we still have time, 7.30, ah. Uh. 7.30, okay, good. Yeah, yeah. you can see uh, we have a very good uh, design. You can see that this is the six uh, Liu Ping, huh? uh, the, the internal design, and it looks like this. Okay, and uh, uh, um, yeah, it, everything looks so nice. And uh, eventually, you can see when we, uh, we even simulate and let master see how this thing is going to look like. And uh, let, me, let me show you one very... Yeah. This one. Yeah, this was the, uh, the, the, the project that we started over there. Uh, we, are, we are building 2,000. This is the prefabricated process over there. And uh, how we can make it happen? We, we are not giving this contract to a professional construction company, but we mobilize the the residents or the, the disaster victims over there, we train them, and then we use it as a Then the family, even the family is a lot of this uh, and the wife is a lot of this 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 and then and, and yeah, this is one there were, there were a lot of families who uh, were so they built their own house inside the project. So this is the beauty of uh, So when we are doing something, we are not just only emphasizing on the, the final results, but how we can fully utilize the students, okay, families. And the father said that after he moved inside to this house, he, he, found, he found himself has to be very, you know, uh, disciplined so that he can really give the food for him. Okay, so we are going to do this. 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 We uh, 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 can give her such a big motivation. You can see and, 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 yeah. and you can see the father even so happy. Yeah. The day, she stay inside. Always love, always happy. Did the cash flow work for us? And you can see how now the family can stay inside. Right, and uh, they are Catholics, but they also, you know, they also do the uh, prayer in time, and uh, you know, this is the way that this is the most uh, happiest they are able to stay inside this, uh, this, this, this house. And unless you see, uh, this, uh, this is this, this almost uh, great village. Yeah. And you can, you can see it's a very big, this, this, uh, this site actually, it was uh, rented by us uh, from the mayor of this almost city. He, he's a very rich person, but this is belongs to her, to his, uh, I think his uh, family. So he can donate, but the family agreed for us to use it for, I think 40 to 50 years, right? So this is not a, a, a permanently owned by the disaster victims, but they can stay on top of the uh, land. It was the, uh, what do you call the can, you know? Uh, sorry, uh, sugar can, a sugar can to a few earlier, right? So you can see uh, uh, how the book's done. All the whole project was done with cash forward. And we used nearly six 
to six months to complete uh, 2,000 houses. And you can see how complicated the project is. We have to fabricate all those uh, steel structures in Taiwan. And then we have to order those uh, BP board from America, big tree, so that they can, uh, 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 what do you call, uh, manufacture in uh, lump sum and then ship directly from the United States and then our structure ship from Taiwan and then gathered at Cebu. You know, we must have our volunteers over there to, 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 uh, to uh, what do you call, manage a warehouse how to manage the, all those parts, you know, and then send to this uh, Ormok uh, village and then assemble it one by one, right? So this is the greatest uh, project I would say, which I involved and I feel so, so glad about that. And you can see until today, this, this uh, 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 village is still there. Um, they, in fact, they treat it as a permanent house, you know, the way they live, the, the way they take care of. And uh, this one, this is a very touching video. This is another construction site. We Setting up vocational training under this. This is a simple structure that we did. And we and we did the same thing in 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 Palo. Right. And with this such a good experience, I myself as a Malaysian, I also feel very proud because in two zero one five, when there was a a very terrible uh uh what do you call flood happened in uh, east coast of Malaysia, in Kelantan and Pahang, right? So uh, uh, we, do, we did the same thing, but this time we worked together with our Malaysian volunteers from, uh, from Kuala Lumpur and also from Penang. And, uh, sorry. Yeah, sorry. Yeah. Uh, even I, I, I let you see what we have done in Malaysia. You can see uh, this one. Before we came, we, we, we came to Malaysia. We asked our volunteer over there uh, in Malaysia to start to, to, to build according to our, to the to the to the dimensions and so on, right? So the local entrepreneur and the local volunteers they find the, the right material, and then our team once we arrive, we start to immediately and 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 go to the disaster areas and see how terrible you see in Kelantan, in Kota Baru, where uh, you can see how uh, it's, it's called uh, Malay Ulai. Huh? It's, it's not very near to, to the uh, Kota Baru. Right? It's, a, it's, a, it's a village, Malay village. And, and this, this one is actually the sample house that we established, we built in the Philippines. So we immediately we sent one model from Philippines, directly ship. A diary uh, sent by flight to, to Malaysia, and then we built this one as a sample in the disaster area. We want to let the Malaysian government know that although we say we want to build a, a, a simple house, but it's not simple, right? It can be used for at least easily more than two years before the government uh, built this permanent house for them, you see? So so I would say uh, this, this is a very successful project until, uh, yeah, in this, this is another two simple house we sent to Kompo to our Kompo Sushi. They also learn how to assemble it and to see how uh, they can also contribute to the design, which is more suitable to our Malaysia uh, needs, right? Yeah, and, and uh, okay, for the last five minutes, I would like to share about another interesting thing. Uh, in fact, I now I, I'm working in uh, Sushi University. And uh, I always try to uh, incorporate what I learned uh, when I was uh, uh, doing the international relief. So uh, this year I have I have one very simple project which I I, I make a smaller science. I ask our, our team to to build with a ratio of one over five, you see, and then to let our our students 
Now this not just only uh, seeing the video, you know, uh, 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 have all, listening to all those touching stories. Uh, what we have done is in Philippines, but they also have the chance uh, to assemble by themselves. You see how this uh, 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 this uh, houses in Philippines looks like. Right, it, it's, it's very difficult for them to build an actual one because it's a little bit heavy and all these kids, they were not well trained, they cannot afford to build such a big house. But for them to, to experience, I, I, I believe it's very important, right? And uh, we had this project and it even integrate this project on how to uh, share with, uh, uh, we call it service learning. In uh, Suchi University, we always uh, have a, 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 this le a service learning project with uh, brother Faisal Wu from our Suchi's uh, uh, Turkey. Right, because we have a very big successful project in Turkey where we help the students, the, the Syrians, the refugee students, give them good education. Right? But at the same time, when we are doing this uh, service learning program, we have the Zoom. Uh, we have also have this uh, distance learning. We let the students over there to see how the big sisters and, father and, and brothers in Suji University build these uh, houses. Then we are we are sharing this uh, project uh, with them. I mean, the uh, Philippines project with uh, Syrian uh, refugees, right? And then asking them to design how go they are going to, to decorate, how they are going to paint this uh, simple house into the dream house that the students in, the, the students in, in Turkey um, want, you know, their, their dream house. Yeah. I think uh, this is the time for me to stop over here. I'm sorry that uh, most of the, the slides were not so clear or the, the Chinese uh, translation is, was not so uh, uh, good time. Um, I should stop over here because of the time. So I think I'm sharing, we'll stop over here. Thank you. Uh, our master Te Huang will uh, take over from now. And really hard yeah, yeah. sharing. We know we still have a lot of brother children. Definitely there is going to be part two. Okay, over to our Dao master. Uh, Rati, you can. Okay, Rati, I, I, I will, I will stop sharing. the sharing. Yeah, then. Hi, um, good morning. Uh, 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 best greeting to everyone, especially for uh, brother Jiren. Uh, I'm so sorry. I was I was just about late um, to to join uh, for the beginning um, for the brother um, Jiren sharing just now. But I I am I'm lucky that I can hear the last final part that uh, you you are sharing with us regarding uh, you have to do the international relief uh, in Philippines and and this is what I heard about <laughs> the the part that you shared just now. And actually, I, th I believe that actually you still can, can share. I think, uh, I, I believe that you have a lot of um, touching stories and, you know, some uh, very um, uh, uh, inspirations, uh, you know, uh, thoughts that you, uh, well, uh, for those couple of years in the past, you joined for this international relief session. Definitely you have a, a very good uh, uh, story you can share. Yeah, and I think, uh, sorry, I have to back to, okay. So, okay, uh, anyway, thank you for another Saturday uh, for me to share with you uh, regarding uh, uh, our master search. But actually, uh, this is a very <coughs> heartbreaking uh, with a very um, heavy heart that uh, we have now uh, the, the, our respected uh, Master De Chu uh, have ended her journey uh, uh, three days ago uh, at night, uh, around 8 uh, p.m. Uh, to uh, nearly 9, 9, PM, uh, 9 p.m. So uh, at the time, uh, we have a lot of uh, our monastics, uh, masters, uh, we do chanting for Master De Chu after we receive the news. Um, that our master does have passed away. And very soon, our master, Sangren, uh, also take the opportunity to, 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 to meet our master. Uh, and our master, our Sangren, also say uh, a few words to our master regarding 
um, the relation between masters and the disciple and how both of them could continue the affinities, the Dharma affinities, you know, for future. So actually, uh, as we know that uh, Master Se Chi, he, he, he is um, older than Master uh, three, four years yeah, and I mean, at once. But yet, he, our Master Se Chi always think that our Sangren is just like his um, guidance, just like the, you know, the, the kind, kindness mother, and which is uh, nourished uh, her life, uh, especially when our Master Se Chi at the very young age, she already make a wish that she want to be engaged in the Buddhist um, spiritual cultivation. And she finally uh, got a chance to meet our master and follow our master. So as we all know that our master does, she is the first followers of our master in, in the, our Jin support. And she have over 60 years experience um, in our Tsuji world as well. Because um, the beginning when our masters established the foundation of Tsuji marriage society, our master Tsuji, she is the first and also until till now, and she will be always the, the one who support but whatever our masters, our sorrow, what to do according to all different kinds of missions and all different kinds of uh, activities. So as uh, we, we can see that uh, uh, not long ago, is around uh, one, two weeks ago before our master did pass away. And while she was very, um, you know, uh, in very uh, quite bad conditions. And she, even though she's in a in a you know very um, deteriorated um, deteriorated condition, and yet uh, she still always think of our master Sangren. So while our master or our Sangren know that she is not not too good, and master is she insists that she she want to um, go to the hospital to visit her first disciple, uh, Sao Wei. But because due to the COVID-19, uh, the virus is, is you know, still not very serious uh, in Taiwan, getting so that um, our uh, hospital superintendent, um, Dr. Lim, advised muscles, um, it's better for you to use the line to, mm -hmm. to connect with our third chi. So uh, for the safety, so uh, it's better for our son stay back stay uh, at the uh, abroad and we use the internet to, to talk with Master Te Chi. And we know, uh, I think all of you have maybe repeated, I don't know how countless time that regarding uh, two days ago for the Renjian Puti, our uh, someone's mentioned about um, our Master Te Chi to rem uh, remembrance of Te Chi and regarding um, the, the, the conversation between uh, she and Master De Chi regarding that uh, our Master De Chi, even though she, she can't speak clearly, but yet she, at first she say, um, apologized to, to Master and she felt repent to her beloved Master somewhere because uh, she found that uh, she's like not filial because um, she might the first who live our Sangren. Not, she said, the thing that uh, as a disciple, she must wait, um, you know, she, she can't leave her master, you know, before she, 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 she lived this, uh, her, and her journey. She think that she must be accompany our master until the end of the day of our master. Then finally her job is complete, but, <clears throat> This is not that uh, match what she wished because uh, she think her her day is not long, longer, and then she feel repent that uh, she make our someone sad, and she feel like uh, she's not feeling. So at, at the beginning she say she repent and she turn away, but after that she keeps saying that uh, 
she will follow our sangren uh, life after life um, by walking through the what is our path and she continue want to come back to this wonderful Chiji world and to to be a uh, part of our member in the future so this is the wow um, while she um, got a chance to uh, you know um, even though not personally, uh, it, you know, in front, but uh, yet uh, this is the um, very kind of like um, country express, but it's very um, uh, amazing that um, the affinity is, you know, in the space for just both uh, master and disciple, they make a vow and create a, a better future uh, for working the Buddhist path through the air, which is, I think, uh, like what our masters mentioned uh, in her Renjian Puti. The Dharma is wondrous assistance. This is like the emptiness. So they don't need to meet each other personally, but yet their heart is linked together. So they already connected uh, through the air and you know, will bring forward to the future. I, I believe that. So this is a kind of right um, uh, different experience that I uh, I can I can say uh, for masters and the chi, because they have been accompanied to each other for carry on over fifty to sixty years, a uh, long time. But yet, um, at the end of masters the chi, they meet each other by using this kind of way through internet. Um, but yet the, their heart is linked together, is connected. So as we know that our master spoke to Master De Chi uh, in reply, saying that this is the law of nature of coming and going. For you must be calm and still in heart. Those who walk first, just like Master De Chi, you go and pave the path for future. And for, for those that who follow along the path, in the future, just master's mention when they come to master herself and she will find a way because and continue with further to widen the road and to pave uh, wider and to increase, uh, recruit more uh, living Bodhisattva to join this um, beautiful world. So, <clears throat> so this is what masters miss about the time before about the details um, uh, uh, she and Master De Chi um, in the yesteryears and gave her the word of this, uh, this, this uh, instructions. So go and pave the path first. I will follow, we all will follow the, the same path in the future when the affinity is, is ripened enough. So as Master also mentioned that uh, uh, this is we at uh, the first I, I heard this sentence is from the Lotus Sutra where Masters expounded the Dharma yeah, on the chapter regarding uh, the disciples and the Masters and we, we know that uh, the relationship between Master and Disciple if they have deep enough the affinity is, is deep enough the root deep is, is very clear, I think that it will belong um, in the life after life. So as they are saying, 500 years ago, the master leads the disciple. 500年前,师度土, and 500年后,土度师, and after 500 years later, the disciple will lead the master in, 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 in other turn. So it's quite interesting that uh, Masters always remember that, uh, keep telling Master De Chi. So if you depart earlier, then you must enlarge and widen the path, just like I mentioned just now on the first previous uh, slide. So for Master will come later, and then there is already a direction um, for Master to follow and travel. So this is for between the Masters and disciple, just like we and our Master as well. So just to make sure that we unveiling um, 
uh, for our aspiration well and continue to follow our muscles, um, you know, to, to keep doing the cultivation of the spiritual uh, uh, cultivation. And for maintaining um, the family with truth and hard work, this is what muscles also um, phrase that uh, and give a very uh, confirm, uh, um, she, she think that, yeah, our master's search, she have done a wonderful job and to, to uh, holding um, and to passing on the Jinsu lineage traditions uh, over this uh, 50, 50 to 60 years along uh, the time that uh, while we was in the abroad. And because master's say that she's busy on uh, our four missions and our uh, footprints uh, for the Suji path. But for the Jing Shi Dharma lineage, the traditions, well, uh, for her disciple who are upholding firmly and to continue to, 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 to be passing on for, for the future. So Master's uh, very thankful to Master Tzu, it's been very well hard for maintaining our, um, and she say that our Tzu just uh, is, a, is a, a super role model for everyone, especially for our uh, junior uh, who just, you know, become the monastic. And this is very important for us to follow our Master Tzu footsteps and just like uh, the way she trade and to respect our muscles and the way she do, uh, how she uh, to maintain uh, her responsibility as a big brother, as we call her Da Shi Xiong. And, you know, she always shoulder the responsibility to, to, to help us to make a living. And uh, for the earlier with uh, scar resources and, you know, she have to, to do a lot of uh, hard work so uh, for some sort of a, a history that uh, we know about our master Tzu, actually uh, she was born in 1934. While the year, uh, as I heard they say, our master Tzu, she was born on the day of the uh, Amitabha for her birthday. And this is what I know that. And it's very coincidentally uh, when our master Tzu, in 1964, while she was still at a very young age, around 30 something, and she was able to follow our master and stay in the little temple, which is behind our abroad um, called Kumin Temple at the beginning. So at the time, they have only few of them, around seven people uh, stay in this small heart shack, the, the small wooden bin, and but yet uh, they already started uh, as the bridge are um, a helping uh, charity. And this is my sister to mention that this is the time uh, when our Tsuji path or the Jinsu Dharma lineage, our traditions have been as the bridge when they first got close to our masters. Uh, from every day, they got a chance to learn from our masters uh, personal example um, to, to teach them how to be, uh, become a real uh, uh, um, uh, living star of uh, as a monastic. So this is already uh, deep uh, planted in our master tree heart. So uh, this is the first um, uh, initial world that uh, they say, if we don't have the, the money, but muscles, uh, this is the, the first year of our, our anniversary uh, for uh, after we've been established the Tzuji Marriage Society. And muscles, uh, at the first day, she also taught, give them the teaching saying that uh, we don't have much money and we don't have much people, but uh, we do have the resolve to help others. So because of our limited uh, resources, is not necessary that we make do with little, starting with a little, but she believed that we will get to recruit more people to join 
uh, our line. So, and Master always say, people suffer when they are in need. If they lack the bare necessities, we give them material aid so that they can carry on. If they are ill, we help them get treatment. If they are discontent, worry, anxious, or uneasy, we give them love and the Buddhist wisdom to enrich their minds. So this is our mission, and this is the purpose of the foundation. So this, this few words, which is given by our masters, our sangha, actually she is already at the time, she is already encouraged our senior master, just like Master Sturge and the few followers at the beginning. They saying that as long as you have the confidence and determination, you can overcome all obstacles and recruit more people to join us in helping the needy and relieve suffering. So then uh, Masters mentioned uh, the spirit of the innumerable, innumerable of the uh, Lotus Sutra. They mentioned that um, the single seed of love can grow to many and eventually to innumerable. So this is the beginning that our Sangha gave the teaching to our senior masters. Yeah. So uh, if you all been back to the board or personally uh, talking to our Dezhi, Master Dezhi, or listen to her, um, what it calls a narrative, the old story in her past, uh, while how she um, accompany our masters to establish the Dezhi world. And I, I think this is quite familiar, even though for me, I, can, I, I listen countless times regarding uh, what Master Dutch always mentioned. As the first generation, we must sacrifice ourselves completely. This is I always heard from our Master Dutch share to the public um, regarding this, uh, you know, we must truly season, complete um, uh, sacrifice ourselves. So uh, even though during the time we have nothing, and even though the house, uh, Master Dutch said mentioned, even though, uh, even though the house, the main temple behind the small little wood, wooden bin uh, is borrowed from the main temple. And, but yet yeah, they still need to feed themselves on their own to maintain the livelihood. So this is the living by their own strength uh, for the beginning time, which is, I can only seem like you all through the photo, I know how hard work they've been worked. But yet, I, the time around eight, nine years ago, while I was just, you know, back to a board, everything just changed because our masters and Sharon, they already, you know, built up a very firm foundation um, to, to maintain our Jinsu Dharma lineage. And we here, we are just follow, you say we follow their first steps, but I think that it's some shame that uh, I feel like I kind of like enjoying uh, what they have been work hacking, uh, you know, in the past. I found like I, I actually not really do much and not really to develop myself or contribute my time a lot to do those hard work. And I don't have this kind of experience. So definitely, you know, the way for me to express how hard or how, um, you know, not easy for the beginning. And, you know, for this, uh, our Jinsu uh, abode um, can be, you know, our everyone's uh, spiritual home. It's not that easy for, for me to speed up, to share with everyone. And I think no one will get touched by listening to my sharing. But if you listen to our masters, so this is the other way, you know, it's very always when you listen to her voice, a compassion and you know it's very soft word and you know you can feel like uh, she is just really a truly uh, a good disciple of our muscles and also is really a, a role model as a monastics uh, uh, especially for our community uh, in the in the non communities I, I can say yeah she is just like you know and as a uh, we are familiar that uh, Master Sturge also mentioned the second word is like, uh, because uh, everyone who live in the abode must abide the rule by saying, if you don't walk, you don't eat. So they have to, you know, 
work hard every day. So this tradition have life on and become a heritage at Jin Singapore and through uh, the global. Every city members must know this is the traditions that uh, starting um, by our son and our master sisters and some few followers uh, at that time. And so, uh, and, and the other words that masters always mention is that we need to experience the suffering that others can bear and we endure what others can and we must have the ability to endure. So this is, uh, always mentioned, so this is, I uh, always heard from our master's men sharing as well. And she always be the first, uh, even though she say we have do over 21 uh, different kind of handiwork and to just want to make a living for our expenses, their expenses in abroad. But of course, uh, right now, this is uh, the handiwork that we have done is not more, is not just 21. It's over and over because uh, they have came across and called different, um, you know, uh, even though successful or failures and um, to, to maintain all different kinds of work they have. And one thing I would like to share is regarding this, as uh, we know that uh, right now, our uh, uh, master does her artwork of probably of the Tao uh, Farm is, is next to the candle factory, uh, Tiro's candle factory. And this is the old uh, photo, which is, I, I, I don't know is where, but uh, right now, Maybe when the time you got a chance to come back to a boat, uh, I think everything is going to change. As I just heard yesterday, and I will tell you from, I heard they say they are going to moving, but I'm not sure that the reason, but I will find out, uh, is there any reason? Uh, because yesterday I heard they say they're starting to move, Ban. I don't know where they moved to, but I can say, they must be uh, have a better place, uh, you know, even though our master studs is not around. Yeah, and master studs also uh, mentioned the spirit of this uh, tears candle for the beginning, uh, how we, um, you know, to produce such a large, large scale of the tears uh, candle uh, at the beginning. And she say our master someone realized that the spirit of the candle is to burn itself to light up others. So my sisters mentioned that just like earth, she said, if we can't sacrifice, who will? So just like the candle, after you light up, it will, it will be gone off one day, but yet it's better than if you don't light up, you won't, you know, brighten the, 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 the darkness room. So this is one master saying that at the first generation, we must sacrifice ourselves completely. This is, you know, I can link to this tears candle for the, in the, in the previous time, what they have been worked hard uh, to, to build up this uh, very firm foundation for us. Yeah. And so in this photo, everyone is quite familiar. So this is the time when Master's De uh, and Sangren, uh, during through the hardship, they've been experienced this kind of life. Yeah. Even though they say if they can afford, they can eat three meals, but if they can't afford, then they at least can only eat one meal. This, this is just like, you know, if now everyone you've been back to a boy, you know that you are not only eating three meals a day, maybe sometimes four or five times because include the snacks, the break time. So if compared to the previous lifetime that our masters experienced, they totally different. So I can say that, you know, yeah, she, yeah, yeah, we are so lucky that, you know, we, we are able to, to be in a boat right now, but yet we must cherish. I think um, this is 
uh, we can't come back to, even though I think now uh, during the, con, um, the, the lockdown uh, restrictions for uh, certain people who can travel in, especially now in Taiwan uh, for uh, other distance um, volunteers, they can't able to come back to abroad. And now I can tell you that uh, actually we are going uh, to cut down the chances to eat the, 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 the people to, to be eating uh, in the boat, and especially for the meals, we make it uh, as simple as possible. So I think this is a good for us to reflect that in the past we are having too much and or eating too much. And I think this is not the time for us to control the, the food that we have in the boat. I think it's a little bit changing, but uh, I hope that on one day we will, you know, back to a very simple life again. Yeah. So especially you can start from the meals, the three meals uh, at the board. I hope we'll we change one day. Yeah. So, and as I say, Master Sir is a role model for everyone. So this is the latest news that we know uh, our master, the, the train, who she is our general affair of our board. And she also follow the, the very good um, habit. And she, she, for her, she was saying that uh, for amidst in this uh, difficult life in the previous time. So uh, a life star of fragility and the preservation was established at the board uh, this tradition is, is carrying on till now. So as we can use the reusable item to, to, to become our air drying laundry. And, and this is uh, our master's chain. She always use her creative idea to create uh, some different kind of funny thing um, around the Jinso uh, uh, areas. Yeah, and this is uh, everyone must be not, not that, uh, uh, more than I can say that uh, we use um, uh, large plastic bags, uh, which is we also recycle uh, into aprons and for people to wear at the board and when they do um, washing the dishes or we when we wash the vegetables, yeah, and so on. So I can say the things the family tradition is the spirit of overcoming difficulties. So especially uh, at the beginning time, while well, Master Su and our Sangren, you know, be passing down. Yeah, and hope that we, our, you know, in the future, uh, even though for us now in, in this um, stage of the generation, I think we must never forget. And this is, uh, uh, we must uh, remembering in our heart, I think in at every moment. So mm, the last but not least, as Master Sturz say that affinity is amazing. And she follow our Master Sangren um, at the very beginning uh, with a scar resources. And even though sometimes they will went hungry, so their living condition were harsh and had to do heavy work, duty work. And um, however, she feel that being able to, because someone feel that I will not feel regret and you want to, to reframe, uh, to become a lay uh, person again. And she said that uh, she felt like being able to cultivate and follow our master's sangre is a blessing. So despite the hard work, she found that it was very happy. Yeah. And so our sangre say, we have to do what other cannot do. So by means that our every one of us, especially we, you know, already make a vow, want to follow our master's first step forever. So this is very important that um, for us to shoulder the responsibility. So uh, very grateful that our team support uh, for our senior uh, masters, they have been uh, help um, uh, someone in the past and um, to, to support what masters want to do for the Tsuji uh, missions. And 
So must say for the volunteers who are come back to a board, we, we must make them feel like they are at home. So this is what our master stood to uh, able and she has always done. Whenever she meet our overseas volunteers back to a board, uh, she got a chance to meet them or, or you know, and she know, uh, she will ask which country you're from, or she will, you know, just smile and maybe she's not speak too much words. So she only can, you know, uh, humble and she speak a little word, but through her action, you feel like, this is just like the elderly uh, family members and, you know, just feel like, oh, you're home. She will always take care of her colleagues at the portfolio art, like uh, Taoyi Fan. She will cook food for them and she will take care of them. Just like, you know, kindness mother. Yeah, I think this is, uh, she able and she's been uh, done a good, a good job for making our board as, uh, you know, everyone's spiritual home. And she's the leading um, disciple of Among Us uh, as uh, our big brother, Da Shi So uh, she, I, I remember uh, I, I read the news that someone asking our master Stuchu, saying that uh, what is the exactly meaning of um, engaging in uh, spiritual cultivation, so much xiuxing. And she replied to that question by saying that uh, actually uh, the true meaning uh, for cultivation is uh, for uh, uh, the monastics, uh, the monks, or for everyone to, uh, with the hope that to eradicate all of our afflictions, and to to get rid of all of our bad habitual tendencies. Xiuxing is just like xiuxi qi, yeah, our bad temples, yeah, to uh, get rid of, of this unnecessary uh, behavior. And this is, uh, this was the original uh, uh, hope or this is a state of our, our original awakened natural. This is what my sister's uh, replying to that question. And she's mentioned that, or well, what about uh, the Xiu Yang for personal cultivation for your own character, uh, you know, virtue, how do you to perform as a monastic or what? And she mentioned to cultivate a good virtue, virtues or the, the personal characters um, in a good uh, way, a role. She say, this is not only for uh, monastics, but for everyone must follow uh, by listening to the right Dharma and, you know, do the right thing. So, <clears throat> so this is like, uh, uh, I think it's back to what today, um, the, the morning uh, Lotus Sutra Wondrous um, given talk by our masters, uh, Sangrens mentioned that uh, the Buddha hoped that we should from a great aspirations, uh, we not uh, remain stuck with a limited um, capabilities. So we must put our life to great use, just like what our masters have done. So instead of focusing on ourselves, so we should use them um, to benefit everyone, to use our life and you know use our capabilities. So. Uh, Master Stuchu is the role model for everyone. And she teaches by her personal example and, and through her action and her speech. And I think along with us, uh, she never abandoned each of us. Uh, I believe that uh, the Dharmakaya still insists uh, in everyone's heart. And I think if, uh, this is like uh, we everyone uh, able to to copy the the good of our master Chi. and I think this is also one of the way that we preserve um, the Dharma uh, for future. So if we can follow what our master Chi have done, so we bless that our master Chi uh, may we bless her and. And we'll be keep our hold of the Jesus lineage um, for the future. And we wish that um, she will return uh, very soon uh, 
again refers in this um, wonderful Tzu boy. So uh, I think this is a sharing for me. And uh, thank you for your time to listen. So I hope that you can um, can can understand that what I'm trying to to pass the message regarding um, uh, how we keep uh, keeping muscle structure uh, in our heart uh, forever. And we should um, always share her story to our new me people. We are in the in the future, yeah, because they have no chance to meet. Or master search, but I think through the advance of technology, we can always show her video and her story to the persons that have not yet got a chance to meet Suji. And we must um, share our the spirit of the to master search with everyone, just like uh, the the wow that she have been continue to commit that uh, she and her our Sangren, that she will um, forever, uh, life after life, to join uh, our Tsuji uh, world and to become a Bodhisattva, uh, a living Bodhisattva in, in, in her future life. So thank you for your time. Uh, and I think I pass it over to Sister Xiaoqing. Thank you. And the Huang Su, Master the Huang, for the oh, very heartfelt, uh, very great, uh, heartfelt, great reminders of Dharma Master the Ci. Indeed, uh, we hear Mas, uh, Master the Huang well, yeah. Master the Ci is our supermodel, and uh, very grateful. And uh, Master the Huang, we are also very grateful, Master the Huang, as our exemplary role models, despite the challenges still guiding us uh, on this platform. Indeed, I'm uh, very grateful. And uh, brothers and sisters on board, we, we are still con rememberings of Master De Ci at 1 p.m. using this uh, very same Zoom link. You can join us. Every one o'clock, we will uh, watch the past episodes on Master De Ci, listen to the song. And 1.30, we will join our abode, Master uh, Sifu, uh, Hua Lian site to hear, to uh, pray, and uh, we listen to the daily sharings by the abode master, Gan uh, Also very uh, great thank you, Gan En, to a brother, Tiren today for sharing. We know Brother Tiren still have lots of treasury. Definitely we will arrange for another session uh, with Brother Tiren Gan uh, Thank you brothers and sisters for your support and your presence today. Very grateful. Uh,